Hi, we're John and Leah and we are outside Warwick Castle. We're about to go in and do the tour. We're so excited, we've got an all day ticket. Yeah, I've never, I, I'm surprised. I thought this would be in ruins, but it looks pretty together. Yeah. We're very excited to be here and we've had our afternoon tea, so we've got full bellies, which is always good. Already from the outside, it's exceeded your expectations. Yeah, it? I'm so already impressed. Already impressed. <laughs> so let's go inside. Right, we've just walked into the courtyard in the middle. I'm so impressed. Do you know what I love? Did you? Old castle. This looks a bit more like it could be a stately home, but it's kind of a castle. Yeah. I love the windows. It's really like in good condition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's not why I expected something in ruins. No, Kenilworth ruins, Warwick still up. Warwick is still up. Yeah. Waffles and donuts. Nothing more traditional than waffles and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> For the knights and the princesses. Very many. <laughs> Right, here's the entrance, guys. It looks like we're entering Hogwarts. We're wizards. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, wow. When this castle was given to uh, Sir, how do we pronounce that? Falk Grofil? Basically that. Basically, he spent £20,000 refurbishing it, which in today's money is eight million. Wow. Eight million quid, because he was given to him by King James I, and it was in a real state of disrepair. So it needed a lot of work. Wow. And he spent a lot of money on it. We're in the Great Hall right now. This is so cool. Look at all those swords yeah. above the door over there. And these horses and their armour. It's just like, don't mess with us. No. Right, we're heading this way. Royal Weekend Party, 1898. Oh, wow. We're in the uh, gentleman's pit now. Looks like this is where they'd have a drink and play a few games. What are you thinking, Joel? Yeah, it's so cool. I've never been on a tour like this where they've got like Madame Tussauds mannequins to like help you imagine. Uh, yeah. It's quite cool. Like, I was like looking at one and I was like, oh, that's Winston Churchill's mother. <laughs> Wouldn't you just love to just be like this lady? Just all you do yeah. is just sit there reading and writing letters. Oh, me, I'm just a lady of leisure. I'm just reading my letters. Oh, look, the Prince of Wales has written to me. Oh, so oh, easy. Really If you didn't watch YouTube videos, you could just be reading all these books. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. There's a lot you can be getting on with. We don't read nowadays. No. We need to read more. Actually, one book a year, two. Yeah. Oh, about to climb some stars, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Some stars? I wonder if this is the original, doesn't feel like the original. No, I think this is the newer part of the house because obviously it's not medieval, but it is from like the 1800s. Yeah. So this is very cool. That's one of my favorite periods is the 1800s, but I yeah. want to learn more about medieval stuff. I asked Leah what I should be watching. She said Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, hello. Look at this. Oh, she's running a bar. Wow. Nowadays, we have TVs on them. Look, they just one one image of themselves. One, image, usually, of like themselves or a family member. Imagine being like, oh, granddad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the idea of this because you're like, Mama, he's coming to visit. Who's Hide it? Me. Is the prince there? Is the prince there? <laughs> me and me, princess. Like, this is definitely an era of like, right? Someone's come over to visit. They want me to marry him. Yeah, let's have a look before oh, I have look. to go down and have a proper look. Oh, what? oh no, a stuffed like cocoon. Yeah. yeah, we don't like taxidermy. Really like it. It's creepy. Look at this wood panelled bed. And the whole room is wood panelled. Look at all this. That is beautiful. This is the royal family of Great Britain, 1897. So I think that's no, Queen Victoria. That's all 
if this would focus, look at these stained glass windows. Stunning. I just love that they always write stuff. Like I know. Neville so these must Christ. be family crests, are they? Yeah, it must De be. Beaucamp. Bouchon. De Nuba. De Nuba. I'm surprised that they're not put like some thingies no. in front of them to stop people from like, so I've just touching touched them. That. Yeah. yeah. Just that. Like, yeah. I could easily just break that. Yeah, them. but you won't. I won't, but I could. Well, it looks like they've had Someone, a few yeah, repairs had a few injuries here. There, injuries. Do you know what? Floor to ceiling beds need to make a comeback. Oh my gosh, guess how many times she got pregnant? 17. 17? I was going to say 10, and then so I thought, don't be ridiculous. The children would have survived past the age of 11. I don't know why she had so many. This room would have actually been reserved for royal visitors. Isn't okay. that interesting? Like the best room always goes to the visitors. It's so weird. It's a bit of a show-offy thing, isn't it? It is. There is a way, way older part of this building. And there's like a square, there's like loads of armoury, loads of King Henry stuff, bits about his wives. But we're just walking through the mall modern part. We're back in the Great Hall and we are going to go the other way and see what is going on this side. It doesn't seem to link so you need to come back into the hall and go the other way. Yes, let's go everything. this way. This bit. Yes. Recommended route. Yeah, this is so sick. This is like the, the great dining hall. That is amazing. That looks incredible. Guys, read that sentence again. <laughs> oh gosh. So it's like six, the musical. The way I remember it, randomly, is divorced, beheaded, died. That's not divorced, random. beheaded, survived. That's how everyone remembered it. So random. <laughs> so, so random. <laughs> That's what I learned in school. So dead uh, random. So dead random. I just realised that Americans would obviously say Tudor differently. You'd say Tudor, which is the same as our uh, tutor. Tudor oh, yeah. and Tudor. Like oh, a math tutor. Yeah, math tutor and Tudor. Tudor, Tudor. More amazing windows. Wow. We're just not putting the effort into windows anymore. No. It's just PVC, UPVC, PVC. isn't it? Like, look at that. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, the iron. No, it's that. just. I mean, they're not very good for insulation. Terrible. But... I mean, energy efficiency rating. Yeah. F. Yeah. And then it got used for booze. Okay, and we thought we were big drinkers. They used to fill that with booze and do like a massive lunch at parties. Amazing. So, I meant to have the best party then. <laughs> Just full of alcohol. Plus, it said that it would at parties be refilled three times with rum or brandy based booze. punch booze. Yeah. Three times. No wonder Bricks have a reputation for being drunkards. It started in the medieval time. <laughs> I was waiting for Joel because there's loads of tourists, so I was like, I'll just stand here. If I prank them, it's yeah. going to just... You just stand there like that. Very medieval. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I've just found out that this castle was left to ruin and abandoned in the Elizabethan era. Yeah. Um, and so it was restored by the Greville family, who we saw in those rooms. They're the models of the Greville family. They're the ones that rooms. spent eight million, yes. about twenty grand, but yeah, yeah. eight million in doing it up. Yeah. So that explains why it's all like Elizabethan and Victorian. Yeah. Um, these girls want to be in a video. Hey, oh, girls. Yeah. So, so that's a great finding. Yeah. Her job. That explains why it's a medieval castle on the outside, but Elizabethan on the inside. inside. So it's smelly down here in the jail. But it's supposed to sting. It's all part of the experience. Lovely. Lovely. You're scared down here, Joel. I'm not Is it scary? Scared. I just have a very sensitive smell. <laughs> So they've like basically made this place smell like what it would have smelled um, like in the medieval times. So it's all immersive. You're smelling it. You're seeing it. It's dark. There's not much light. Look at this character. Just you know doing their job. <laughs> doing his job. Women of the wardrobe. So the women play an essential part in getting men ready for battle. Apparently. Now, this is where I would have been. Yeah, Leah loves Women doing laundry. I love laundry, I love washing. That would be Leah. <laughs> oh my god, that's me! That's Leah. Oh my god. That's so me, you know, always got a smile on my face. Doing laundry, yeah. <laughs> 
I love that. You're the same height as well. Yeah. Lovely. Do you like the laundry room? I like the laundry room. It smells a bit less. It's a bit more fresh. Yeah, they've got the sort of the um, aromas of the thyme hanging here, like the lavender, all sorts. I know we still got those smells now, but not the natural laundry vibes, if you know what I mean. He's just doing some leather, doing some shoes. Nice. They've even been very authentic with the sort of amount of receding hair that someone would have. <laughs> Love that. So it's saying here, like this is where the person in charge of going into battle does all the coins and accounting because yeah. going into battle is expensive. Yeah. It says down here you'll see some soldiers waiting to go to battle, arm wrestling and having fun, making the most of their time alive because life expectancy was until late twenties. So we'd be dead. So we'd be dead. Wow. Of course, Leah's found the kettle. <laughs> I love it. Of course. Oh, what have we got here? Is it's this the food? Bit of food. Oh, okay. Lovely. Love that the, the lads are standing by the buffet. That's also me. That's well, also, yeah. Year, so I'll be by the buffet. <laughs> now, what are these guys up to? There's pillows. They might be in charge of bedding. <laughs> they look like they're not going into battle because they look too regally dressed. Yeah, like the higher up you were, the less likely you were to die. It's too important it's so to die. So sad, die. isn't it? It really is. What's behind this little curtain? Oh, it's a lavatory. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, and a little. Oh, wow, look at that little throne. Look at that. That's so tiny. Gosh, it really is. Lou with a view? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> a nice a little peeking hole here. Peeking hole? Oh yeah. Oh, you can just see. Would you sit here and write poetry looking at the river? Yeah. Be like, oh, I was about to say Shakespeare, he's way later. Yeah. Uh, I was just about to like just realize Shakespeare didn't exist. No. No idea. They didn't have no idea who it was. Yeah. Crikey. So this is the Wood family crest apparently. Lovely. Okay. Found it there as well. Lovely. Lovely. Sadly no hat Zakis. I don't think there was any Greeks here at the time. Oh. Sorry, darling. I mean, my housemate Lucy had one, Bennett. That's a very traditional English name. But yeah, no Hadzakis. I've seen these mugs before. I love them. His lordship. Her ladyship. Her ladyship. My nan had a her ladyship one. That's amazing. So uh, good. Fine china. Lovely. Approved. Approved. <laughs> Wow, what a fabulous day it has been. We spent yeah. quite a few hours here looking round and it's been brilliant. You could definitely yeah. spend a full day. Oh, definitely. There's more shows going on, especially for kids. It's really great if you've got a family and if you've got children here as well. So much entertainment for them. Yeah. There's like kids running around like with their it's outfits so on. Like, it was just really cool. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. We post videos every, every single week. week. Subscribe if you're new here. It's free to do. Just click subscribe. Yes, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see you soon. We videos every single week, as Joel's already said. Yes. <laughs> see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. We post videos every single week. week. As um, Joel said, we do post every single every week. Every single week. So see, see you soon. Every Bye. week. <laughs>